Hi, it's a beautiful summer day and I'm sitting here in my gardens by one of my hybrid pepper plants. I'm Spenta and I live in USDA Zone 7 sharing a few facts about cross-pollination of peppers with you today. Here is one of my pepper plants that I successfully cross-pollinated and was able to save a pepper off of and therefore dried the seeds dried the seeds and saved them for this year. So now I see that the peppers are looking beautiful and actually quite interesting as they are younger. They're very light. They look like banana peppers and as they grow they start to change and what they look like. Their color is a little bit yellow to lime green and maturing to a little bit more dark green just like a jalapeno. And after this it will have a few hues of purple going down on this and there you go that pepper is ready and this is my hybrid pepper plant in order to make a hybrid pepper plant you have to be a little patient i am wanting to cultivate the spiciest peppers so it is one of my goals in gardening and i love spicy peppers so this is a patience thing and it is definitely worth it because you will achieve lovely goals and you know sometimes with some type of pepper varieties you'll have really good luck and with other types you just won't have good varieties or pr uh, plants that cross pollinate well with this one i had a really good one and i just wanted to share it with you see the young one is much different and as you see the stages of growth in this uh, pepper plant it's interesting that the peppers on it are they look different that's just interesting to me so it's very pretty and it does taste good you can always get it tested to cross pollinate you're basically wanting to create variety or you're wanting one that has a different shape different color or different taste so in order to successfully cross pollinate you need to know a few things about the pepper plants um, first one thing to know and note down is that the pepper plant itself each flower on it just like this particular flower right here it has both parts on it it has a male part and a female part so it has both parts on it so it will be able to pollinate itself so each pepper plant will definitely cross pollinate just because if you have lots of pollinators like i do and they sit on each flower and they fly to another just like that your pepper plant itself is cross pollinated now you don't need to worry about other pepper plants cross pollinating with one of your pepper plants unless you are wanting to save those seeds and i know a lot of people that are that way so what they do is they actually separate their peppers by planting them in a different area completely different than other peppers or i know some who actually place thin bags over the plants bags that are able to breathe the plant is able to breathe through and see light but it is not able to have other pollinators sit on it and cross pollinate that particular flower so there you go if you're wanting to make sure that your plant stays very original and has not been pollinated that seeds of that pepper plant have not been pollinated you can do so you have to keep your pepper separate from other varieties of pepper here I had two different types of pepper. I had a banana pepper and a jalapeno pepper. Last year, I crossbred a bunch of flowers off of my plants. And by that, I mean, here's what I did. So as I mentioned earlier, pepper plants and pepper flowers have both parts on them. Here is the male part. Right over here is the male part. As you can see, it is the anther. It's dark and I have separated it with tweezers for sake of the video and for showing you what it looks like if you take the petals off. So you see right here, the flower has petals and over here, if you take the petals off, there's the stem right over here, right above there's the stem. And if you take the uh, petals off, then what will be left and you'll see it will be anthers. After the anthers, if you take the anthers off, what will be there and left is the stigma portion. And right here, I can show you what that looks like. Right over here. Let's take a look right here. That is what 
the stigma looks like and the ovary is right above there and that is what the female part of a pepper plant looks like just like that so it's green whereas the male part is on the outer layer right after you open the petals you'll be able to see it so there you go you have the anthers and you have your you have your stigma and what you want to do is when you are cross-pollinating two different pepper plants you want to have your plant a and plant b set aside and you'd like to definitely make sure that you have picked a good flower just like these right here those are really good samples so that is something that i would actually be using if i wanted to cross pollinate pepper successfully the reason i say that is because those petals are still closed once they're closed they have a good chance that the anthers are not out yet. Once the anthers start coming out and sending out, um, they will start sending out uh, pollen so that right there, you don't want uh, uh, it sitting down on your female part because then right there, then you have your plant that is already pollinated with its own self and then it will not give a different type of pepper. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you grab some tweezers, a brand, a few, pick a few brand new flowers that look like this the petals haven't opened yet and you want to remove the petals with tweezers which I have done so here just like this and after that you're going to remove those black parts right there you're going to remove these parts these parts again with tweezers and then your flower should end up having only the stigma part left which will later um, head towards that ovary of that plant right here there's the stigma and that is what you can use to pollinate and it is pretty simple just for video purposes I can show you what it looks like let's say this is completely open and you can just do this there you go and make sure that this is all the way in the center there you go so this is with itself but this is what you would do if this was another flower from another pepper you would strip off the petals leave the stigma on and that is how you cross pollinate i know some people that actually use brushes and i have used brushes myself feel free to do so remember the female part is what's important it will carry the fruit on after that particular fruit gives fruit you want to save the fruit the best way to remember to doing so is to place just something right around this it can be a small string or something that is good for plants, maybe a small zip tie, something you would know that it would be a mark for you that that is the pepper that you actually cross pollinated. So you want it to keep those pepper plants and you want to mark those particular stems. After you mark each stem and then you have a pepper that grows successfully, save those peppers, let them mature, save the seeds. After you save the seeds, then that is when you can plant them and see what type of peppers you end up having and if you have cross-pollinated them successfully then you are going to have a pepper that looks different tastes different or does one thing that is different and the most interesting thing about this one that i love to share with you and i said to myself i must share it is because at youth it looks like a banana pepper and it has a transitional stage when it grows and it matures whereas an actual jalapeno pepper itself starts green and small it looks green like but it will be dark green so the color will be also dark green at the end and then that is when it turns red and it goes to other colors but it's interesting that it started looking like a banana pepper at first and it continues to grow as it matures actually looks like a jalapeno so it will have a different scoville than regular jalapeno that i grow then again each thing that i grow here and cultivate here is completely different from each other so if you are just planting and are just planting for fun you don't have to worry about your plants cross pollinating and giving a different kind of pepper right away but yes it is possible if you pl uh, plant sweet pepper near hot pepper that if you save those peppers that the next year if you plant those upcoming seeds from that matured pepper that you are going to wonder oh my gosh i thought i planted this kind of pepper but then another kind of pepper comes up it's because that pepper plant was cross-pollinated the flower of that pepper plant had been cross-pollinated with another pepper plant again 
this is my hybrid pepper plant of the year and I really like it in the fact that it has different looking peppers on it and it matures to look like a jalapeno. It has done a really good job of growing and successfully I have cross pollinated this and I'm very glad to have done so because my goal is one day to cross pollinate the spiciest pepper yet. I'm Spenta and I'm thankful for your subscriptions, comments and likes. Thanks for visiting me. I wish you a beautiful day and happy gardening.